coming up on At Your Leisure. I'm Jake, and this is Kurt with Slick Rock Productions, and we are in Moab, Utah for the Red Rock Rally, out here on Cliffhanger, one of the most epic trails in Moab. I'm Reese Stein, coming up, a little reservoir with big fish. And I'm Will Oxley. Whether you pronounce it Porsche or Porsche, one thing we can all agree on is they make great race cars. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Kurt, this is Jake, we're at Slick Rock Productions. There hasn't been an event down here in Moab, a side-by-side -side event for a lot of years, and we are honored to be here. We are. Uh, we, we have the Red Rock Rally down here this week, and uh, we're enjoying ourselves. The town has been very welcoming to us. Um, the people have been great. Um, the weather has been really spotty, but it's turned out in our favor. It's nice and cool out here, it's nice. And we are just honored to be here. There's a lot of great people who pulled together uh, to put this together, and we have a lot of great vendors. Seriously, just to name some, we've got Valor, DRT, Gorilla Whips, HCR, Piranha. I mean, yeah, the so list, many the came list together. Goes yeah. on and on. Super ATV helped us out. We we we've got ten or fifteen great companies that threw in with with yeah. this. Um, we're really honored to be here. We miss Moab a lot. Like yeah. I said, it's been like four years since we've had an event down here. It's been super nice. And once again, Moab, Moab needs us. You know, this is a tourist town down here. They, they, you know, rely on people coming through, coming down to visit. They rely on the off-road community. So, you know, we, we ask everybody when we come out here to, to have manners and be cool to the town. People live here, but this is Moab. It's an off-road mecca out yes, here, yep. and it feels really good to be back here, man. Yeah, and it's really cool. With the event, we've actually got some big things going on tonight. We have our all-you-can-eat barbecue we're excited for. Yep. We're going to get down on a cornhole tournament. Yep. So We're raffling $25,000 yep. of the prizes away. It's going to be again, fun. thank you to all of our sponsors out there. So let's go out. Let's do some great rides, and let's enjoy this place. Slick Rock uh, hit us up and said, hey, we're doing the Red Rock Rally. You know, we we're very excited to hear about that. We're always ready to jump into any kind of events that the UTV or the off-road industry throws. Um, we're always happy to support Slick Rock. You know, we've been a sponsor of them for uh, about seven years now. So uh, we love the partnership with Slick Rock. We love uh, the partnership with Moab and it's a, we're having a great time down here. Uh, these guys are awesome, and uh, we're just enjoying the beautiful country out here. The scenery is amazing, and there's some challenging spots that really get you your heart pumping. And with the element of the rain, everything seemed a little more enhanced as far as crawling and scenery. It's just, it's a beautiful trail. And like Rachel said, with the rain, it was a whole different experience. I've been on it, this trail a lot, and today was fun with the rain. I've got three daughters that I'm lucky enough, they love the sport. They have been riding snowmobiles, four-wheelers since they were tiny little kids. They love to drive slide by pipes. In fact, my three daughters were guides for the ladies' rides for this rally this year. So it has always been a major part of my family. It has been something we all enjoy and has brought all of us together. And while we've done that, we've met other families that are in the same boat. And so along with my family, I consider the entire off-road community my family, and they've done a lot for me. This is the way for me to pay them back. I came to Rowdy on the Rocks back in 2017. I saw all these razors and everything, and I was just vacationing here. And I went, wow, this is awesome. So I actually rented a machine, went to uh, Hell's Revenge. When I got done off that trail, I said, I looked at my wife and I said, I'm getting one of these and coming back. And throughout the course of these years, I've become really good friends with them. They've, they've taken me places that I would never dream of. I would never have been here again. I'm from Florida. So I would have never thought I would ever be able to do this in my entire life. And these guys from Slick Rock have made it possible. What are you thinking here? 
I don't know, man. This is how Thelma and Louise bought it. I don't Jeez. think this is a good idea. Nope. Let's go do something else. Yeah. Since we decided not to take the leap, we're going to get back on the trail. And while we do that, check this out. Today was a good day. I'm Rick Stein at your leisure at Settlement Canyon Reservoir near Tooele. It's a little lake, but has big fish. Ian, state of Utah, that's a nice wiper anywhere in the state. Kind of tiny little lake in the middle of a canyon in Tooele County. As a state wildlife biologist, Tyler Robinson is one of the few allowed on this small reservoir with a boat. Fishing is allowed, but only from shore. So the thing with settlement, it's actually, you're not supposed to have boats on here. So it is a water source for the public. So they try to limit access. You're allowed to fish it. And with a couple of drownings in recent winters, ice fishing may be curtailed. And you can fish from shore, but you're not allowed to wade in the water, swim in the water, or launch any crafts in the water. Robinson and Sierra King set nets the day before to collect samples of what's here to determine just how the lake is doing. And we'll see what we can find in. Yeah. To the disgust of the kids, Tyler dissects the fish to see what they've been eating. The big wipers are gulping crawdads and Utah chubs whole. Wipers are frankenfish, part white bass, part striped bass created in the hatchery. They're sterile and can't reproduce and help control the undesirable species. They have a lot of food in here that they can grow big and grow fast and they're clearly doing what we hoped they would do when we put them in here. Tyler was surprised to see so many huge wipers. We need more anglers to come target them clearly and they need to enjoy them versus us getting them with our nets. But he's a bit concerned about the rainbow and tiger trout they've planted here. We didn't get any giant trout today, so it was kind of concerning. We really hoped that the tiger trout would take off and get big and nice, real good-sized tiger trout. Overall, there's a lot of fish in here, and anglers need to come here and use the system, utilize our resource we provide. Settlement Canyon Reservoir is just a couple of blocks up Settlement Canyon Road off Tooele's South Main Street. The trout limit is four and three for the wipers with no size restrictions. Riker and Addison Savage are checking out the operation with Grandpa John Lane. Do you fish this lake? I do. How do you do? Identify. I don't do well at all. <laughs> you haven't caught one of these big wipers yet? No, I have not, and I'm looking forward to catching, a, catching one. I think I'll be bringing the grandkids over here and we'll fish off the bank. While six-year-old Robert Crockett may be following in his biologist father's footsteps. He's, uh, he thinks he's an expert anyway. We're trying to train him to be a fisheries biologist. And those last big wipers they netted? Well, they released them back into the lake to give the kids something to chase. Restein at your leisure along the way at surprising Settlement Canyon Reservoir in Tooele. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. So we finally made it to the cliffhanger part of cliffhanger. I'm really excited about this. This is my favorite part. Let's get these guys through it. You know, every trail has its unique uh, challenges and obstacles. Uh, every trail is amazing, but uh, I'd have to say today I'm having a blast on cliffhanger. Uh, but uh, you can't go wrong down here in Moab. You know that skinny part? It, uh, it brought out the faith in me a little more than I had yesterday. So I, I think I'm a believer after that uh, little area on Cliffhanger. I love the cliff edges on it. <laughs> That scares most people, but it's fun to see it. It's just a different, something different. In your mind, you're like, well, this is pretty scary. And it kind of trips you out a little bit when you look over the edge and you're like, ah, that's, you know, that could be a little scary. But the, the thing that I always love about it is it really gets you present in what you're doing. 
and it kind of gives you that exhilarating feeling that not you can't get in life sometimes and having those experiences and being daring kind of pushes you to a limit that makes you just appreciate the things that you have and the things that you can get out and do. I, I'm a weird one. I, I love it. <laughs> I, get, I get excited and I enjoy it. I don't go close to the edge, I will say. I keep my distance, but I, I love it. It's just fun and the views are incredible. And when you have great guides out there guiding you, you just focus on them and you're not worried about falling off the cliff. <laughs> Welcome back to At Your Leisure. You know, we're out here at the Red Rock Rally in Moab, Utah, enjoying some wonderful scenic trails out here. This place is beautiful. This is the off-road mecca of the world, Moab is. And one of the best things we can all do to help preserve, you know, our public access to this is utilize trails. Get your families, get your friends, go out, go on adventures, enjoy everything this place has to offer. The more you use it, the less reasons we give people to shut them down. Let your voice be heard, but go out and enjoy all the public lands. Yeah, I think it's amazing that we can come out here. It's public land. It's something that I think everybody should have the opportunity to see. Everybody has different interests and different ways to do recreating. And I think that for people that love side by siding or that's the means that they can they can act, get out and, and enjoy the outdoors I think that everyone should see it and I think it's great and it brings us all kind of to a common interest of the beauty that we can all enjoy together in different ways and in different you know interest levels and once you come out here once you're gonna want to come back <laughs> well it's been on the map for 200 plus years and it's been a mining town, it's been farming, it's been ranching, and those folks put roads in all over this valley. Okay, we got roads here that are more than 200 years old. They've been successful at closing a few of those roads that are hundreds of years old. And if that can happen here, it can happen anywhere. And so we know not they're not only targeting here, they are looking across the Midwest, and so this is part of the effort with UPLA and the Blue Ribbon Coalition along the same lines of what they're doing to keep motorized recreation open in Moab. The town wants it, we've had nothing but support. We've had several local businesses donate to the raffle. They've taken care of some of the guide jerseys, some of the guide dinners. Um, several hotels and campgrounds have given us discounts. We've had them up to be able to bring people in. We've made sure we've spent our money in Moab. And every single person we have talked to has been grateful to get more motorized tourism back into Moab. We benefit the area that we come to we are good stewards of it. We know there's a portion of our sport that we need to continue to work on. We are doing that. We want to do it in a positive way. No anger, no embarrassment. Bring them over to the bright side, you know what I mean? Show them that being courteous is going to give them more chances to go ride. I'm retired now and I'm disabled. So this gives me the opportunity to be able to still enjoy the outdoors when I can't hike. And Utah is the most awesome place I've ever been. So I'm from Florida, I come here as much as I can, and I just love off-road. Um, it's more of a passion and a spiritual thing for me. So this off-road has given me the opportunity, especially here, to see things I would never see any other way. It's real important that they keep this open. This rally is one of the beginning, again, I hope, of bringing off-road here. Um, it was a disaster when they took it away from us and it just needs to be coming back. We're gonna keep continuing down the trail here on Cliffhanger. While we're doing that, check out this story. 
Power Sports come in all shapes and sizes, and the Utah Motorsports Campus in Grantsville has them all. Today is a Porsche Club of America race day, and Salt Lake City-based Air Power Racing is here to support their drivers and push their machines to the limit. We are a full race prep and support company. All of the drivers that are on our team own their own cars, uh, but we prep them, we transport them, we crew the cars during the race weekend, we store the cars in-house between races, so anything from oil changes to full engine builds, uh, we do everything in between. The three-day event groups racers together by the speed of their cars and the skill of their drivers. But the one thing every team has in common are the skilled technicians who keep everything running smoothly. For the most part, it's a normal job, nine to five at the shop. But when we have race weekends, um, it becomes, you know, 70, 80 hour work weeks and stuff. When race events come up, it's basically all hands on deck to, to prep the race cars. When that, that switch flips, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty exciting for me. It's uh, definitely a rush. Each technician is assigned to each driver and, and car, and they support them through the out, throughout the entire weekend. The driver's expecting the car to go 200 miles an hour and stop and, you know, 150 yards. So the attention to detail on the race car side is huge. Not that you don't pay attention on a, on a street car, but it's, there's two very opposite ends of the spectrum. So it all requires fine attention to detail, but they're designed for efficiency and they're straightforward, you know, simple designs, but they're super efficient out on the track to service and replace cars. So it just simplifies the entire package, but it performs at a higher level, if that makes sense. I'm crewing number 711, um, and he's, uh, he's in the race class. He has his race license, so. I've kind of always been a car guy, but I just feel like, a, you know, it's like a little kid in the candy shop, you know, like it's, it's super exciting for me to come to work, you know, watching them go you know, 180, 190 miles an hour down the straightaway, knowing like I tightened every bolt on that car and I strapped the driver in, especially, you know, driver won first place today in the first race. I mean, that's pretty exciting, you know. To me, the Porsche out of the box, I think is the best track oriented car. Uh, the cooling capacity that comes with it, the suspension, the brakes, I mean, it's it's a very driver-oriented vehicle. They really are the, the, the driver's car. I mean, you can take a base model off the lot and go track it, and typically it's A-OK. -okay. My dad, he did racing when he was my age as well. And uh, I'm from Indianapolis, and it's arguably the biggest racing town on the planet. Yeah, I was literally born into it. I was always a fan of it, so I'm like, and this is literally my dream job. We, you know, we do trackside support on race weekends, but at the shop, we're also a service shop for street cars and race cars, anybody who who wants to bring in their car. Typically specialize in just Porsche, but everything else, full restorations. We got three of them right now, a 356, a 69, 911, um, and a couple Austin Healy's. You gotta have a huge want to be in the motorsports industry. It's, uh, it's completely different than your normal nine to five. Motorsports is very laid back until something goes wrong and then it is the most high pace, high impact, I think, work environment. The car behind me, number 31, it, uh, you know, it may have lost a motor. We're going to find out here when he goes back on track. And if it is, I'm going straight to the shop from the track tonight. We're going to pull the motor, pull the trans, shove his spare motor into it, and it'll be back at 7 a.m. for him to drive in the morning, you know. And so it's just one of those things, you know, it's something a long game.
Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We made it out to the barbecue we were talking about earlier out here at Red Cliffs Lodge. So we're gonna have some barbecue. We're gonna do a big raffle while we're doing that. Check out next week's show. Thanks, Kurt. Slap on your riding clothes, because next week we are going to join Honda World as we take street bikes out for a great summer ride through American Fork Canyon. Then we're off to the Glenwood Raceway in Richfield, Utah, and we're going to see six-time AMA national champ Jason Rains and Jorgensen's Power Sports for their demo days and Yamaha Riding School event. Finally, we're going to serve up some adrenaline in the dirt as we join the folks from Whiskey Throttle Racing Series at UMC in Tooele for their race night event. Now, let's take a look at our contest winner. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on social media by David Peterson, and it looks like David is the lucky winner of an outdoor stove from Camp Chef. Camp Chef offers the best way to get your cooking done in the outdoors. Visit CampChef.com for more information, and be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Now, Let's take a look at our calendar of events. First up, August 7th through the 10th is the Paiute ATV Jamboree in Marysvale, Utah. Come down for some great food, some fun games, and of course, some fantastic riding trails. Visit PaiuteJam.com for more information. Then, August 13th through the 17th is the Bryce Panguitch ATV Rally, which is a great way to bring your machine down and experience some amazing red rock scenery and some of the most diverse trails. Visit BryceCanyonCountry.com for more information. And don't forget to visit our events page at AYLTV.com to stay up to date on all the great jamborees and off-road and outdoor events that will be happening throughout the year. We have had an absolutely great time at the Red Rock Rally down here in Moab. This is not going to be the first. It is going to, or this is the first, but it's not going to be the last. Thanks everybody for coming. Life is an adventure. Get off your couch and go find it. Thank you very much, guys.